What's up guys, it's Erica with Not Your Average EDC, and today we are talking about something that is going to piss a lot of you off, and it pisses me off too. We're going to talk about fidget factor with knives. Fidgety fidgeties, right? Everybody loves fidget factor except for me. Um, let me have my soapbox and let me shit in it. So, here we go. I hate when people talk about fidgety knives. This is the reason why, okay? So like, let's use some logic for a little bit. I hear a lot of people bitching about Omega Springs on Benchmades, okay? They're breaking on me, they're breaking on me. They suck, they're too weak, they're too thin, etc, etc, okay? Now a lot of those people that bitch are fidgeters. I have been using Benchmade knives, hard using, abusing them even in some cases to some people, um, for 10 years now, okay? Knock on wood. On my porch, I have never broken an Omega Spring ever. Never, never, never. And I really hard use my stuff, okay? And I hear all the time, well, they're weak. They break. Blah, blah, blah. My lock failed. Um, my Emerson lock moved over too quick. It's, you know, it's locking late. I'm nervous about it. If you are a fidgeter, okay, I feel like you can't complain about this. So, let's do some math. Let's say... The average EDC addict, like me, but a fidgety one, opens and closes their knife to fidget with, let's say, 50 times a day on the, on the light end, okay? So let's say you have some type of Benchmade knife that you're carrying, and you're a fidgeter. And on the low end, you do this and this 50 times a day. Now, that's on the low end, I think, because I know people that do that do it 50 times, five times a day, or 10 times a day, okay? But just hear me out. Low end, 50 times, open, close, sitting there watching TV, or at your desk, 50 times. And you do that every day. So that's 350 times in one week. 350 times in one week that you opened and closed your knife. Now let's go to a month. So 350... Uh, 1,400 times in one month if you did that every day. Fif so 50 times a day, all day, every day, you know, for a month. 1,400 times you have opened and closed this knife, okay? And you do have to realize, logic tells us, that every time that you open and close this knife or the Emerson or anything, over time, that will weaken basically any lock it will start to affect it so like with a um with the emerson like the lock will start walking over to the other side with use it is it is going to happen um if when you open and close the knife so this lock will move over as time goes on to the other side and eventually it needs to be replaced just like eventually when the omega springs break they will need to be replaced okay when you're fidgeting all day long, all the time, you're not, you're reducing the longevity of your knife, and I feel like some people don't realize that. Like, any knife is going to start failing when you're doing that, and honestly, 1,400 times a month that you open and close your knife to not even use it, like, I don't even know how much it would be, including you using it. I mean, if you open your knife, open and close it, 10 times a day to actually use it, plus the 50 times minimum that you opened and closed it just to fidget with and possibly cut yourself, it, re it, it will reduce the longevity of your, of your Omega Spring or your lock face, right? So just something to kind of think about, guys, because I don't, I don't think people genuinely understand like how much that really will in the long run affect the longevity of your locks when you're fidgeting with them all day long open close open close dick around like that's why i don't do that i don't let myself um and trust me i am a fidgeter i love tinkering with things i love you know playing around with knives um and if i could open and close something all day for fun i would by the way this ipa is lit um so just something to think about. Like, I literally purposely, if I need to fidget with something, or if I want to, like, look at my knife and look at how beautiful it is, I will purposely not let myself open and close it. Like, I look at everything else, 
and I'll like toss it around in my hand because I am a fidgeter. I am a fidgeter and I am a tinkerer. So I'll like toss it around in my hand, little lanyard beads, you know, feel the different textures. I'm like, I'm, I'm weird like that. I, I like to dick around with stuff. But I won't let myself open and close it and engage and disengage and engage and disengage that lock 50 times a day. I'm not going to do that because I know in the back of my mind, even if it is a slow progression of the lock getting weaker and moving, it is a progression that I can completely avoid. And if I can just open my knife and close it 10 or 15 times a day, and that's it, just the 10 or 15 times, I'm happy with that. That's better than, you know, 75. (laughs) Uh, And I know some of y'all do it like 100 times a day maybe even more. I I watch videos sometimes that are actually annoying where people are doing their knife reviews and the entire time it's like a it's just their hands in the shot and the whole time they are just doing this all the time open close open close the whole review. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, There are a lot of things that we as humans do that are detrimental to the longevity of our products and our property and we don't even realize it like just like I bet y'all wash your pants way too much for the most part jeans are not supposed to be washed every day or every other day you're supposed to only wash them like once or twice a week and then they last way longer I'm disgusting and I've never even washed all of my work pants like literally the pants I have right on right on oh my god on me right now is what I was trying to say these nasty things never washed them ever my car hurts and all I've done is blown out that knee, and I have like a little hole, a little tiny hole in the crotch. Never washed them. I just air dry them, which if you think it's disgusting, that's fine because it kind of is. But these have also lasted me a decent amount of time. And when you wash your pants constantly, it is weakening those fibers so much that you can blow through jeans, $60, $70 pair of Levi's, like quick, real quick. So maybe it'll have you thinking differently about fidgety stuff, right? Maybe maybe you'll get yourself a fidget spinner or something instead. and um, Or maybe you don't care about your lock possibly giving out sooner and you'll keep fidgeting on. And in that case, enjoy yourself, motherfuckers. I'm just bringing some new ideas to the table. Um, I think my best example of use your fucking shit is right here. Go use your shit. Go enjoy your knives and your tools by using them. Also, quick shout out to Kaylee for giving me the idea to do this video. She is a master fidgeter and um, I'm crapping on you, Kaylee. You know I love you. (laughs) Have a good one, guys. Go use your shit and have a great weekend.